Hey everybody, Jack here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we are talking about the elegant Facebook Messenger desktop app, as it says here. It's called Caprine. So I like this app because, you know, I am a reluctant Facebook user, but I do not like the website and having to open it all the time. So it's nice that when I'm on my Linux desktop or my laptop, I can just use an app that looks similar to the one on my phone. So as you can see through the screenshots here, it looks... Uh, pretty cool. So the way you get it is dependent on your distribution. On Linux, you can use the deb file if you're using Ubuntu or Debian, or you can use the app image if you're on anything else. I have my issues with just giving somebody an app image due to how they work, but it's actually a lot nicer than just say, here, build the source code. So I guess you can't be too upset. So to start off, you're going to want to go to the page and right click and do copy link location. Now, normally I would just say click and download, but in this case, it's much faster to just copy the link and use wget. So you just do mkadir-p make a app image folder. And after that, cd into the app image folder and then just do wget control shift V, paste that link and it will download the program. Now the program is a couple megabytes, so it's not going to go instantly, but it will download and uh, it'll get there. So now that the app image is finished, we can go and update the permissions and you do that with just a chmod. So chmod plus x and then just type in cap, press the tab button, it'll autocomplete. That will update the permissions. From there you can launch it with just dot slash and then cap once again, press the tab button and then open it up. So I am in my uh, in my Facebook app. I'm not gonna go through any more conversations, but uh, here's Alex, he owns Addictive Tips. And uh, this is what it looks like. You can enable dark mode, you can turn on the sidebar or turn it back off. You can decrease the text. There's lots of different things you can do with this. And if you like you know, if you like Facebook, but you don't want to use the app all the time on the website, this is a bit of a, it, it's it's the best of a bad situation. And uh, it's even got a little uh, system tray icon, which you can right click and click the toggle button and that will hide it. Let me do it here. It'll hide it to the system tray and then you can get desktop notifications and whatnot. Anyways, guys, this is how to install Caprine on Linux. Like I said, check it out if you need a standalone Facebook app for Linux and Linux desktop. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get going, but I'll see you in the next video.